Hey guys, it's Cami with Coast DIY Bar and I am here with your pour kit training. So thanks for coming in and either thinking about or actually buying a pour kit. I'm gonna be posting this out for most folks to see, so I'm not really gonna hide the video just for fun so people can play. But what we've got is uh, two kits and two ways to buy the kits if you haven't bought one yet. Uh, they're gonna come in a quick box, it's pretty bright. And in the box, you're gonna have everything that you need to make this. Uh, this has a few more colors than you're gonna get. I did this as a quickie uh, test based on just leftover. So you can see that we've got uh, purple, green, yellow, and white. So that's four colors. We're gonna do three colors in the kit to keep the price down. And if you wanna buy an extra color, you can do that. They're gonna be 250 for the pot. They're pre-mixed with um, your pouring meeting in there. So you're ready to go. So let's talk about what's in the kit. First, you've got uh, two options. We're gonna do turtles and flowers, and while the flower feels like he's huge, they're actually the same size. I've chosen a couple of things that have a cute shape to them, but are also reasonable to pour on. Uh, it's nice to do squares and circles, but think about like mermaids and stuff are a little hard to get the pour action going. So I think the flowers and turtles will be cute. Uh, in every kit, you're gonna get a big turtle and a baby turtle, or a big flower and a baby flower, okay? So you get, we're gonna call these a dipper, and you're gonna see why in a minute. You're gonna also get three pots of paint. You'll get to pick the colors when you come in. You're gonna get a cup. This is gonna be what you put it all in. You're gonna have three popsicle sticks, one for every color. And then you're gonna have a little pot of, it's gonna look almost empty. But if you see it turn there, it's got a little bit of oil in it. And we're gonna talk about that. That's what's gonna give you the, um, the really cool, they call them cells. So if you see here where it's got these little openings, those are called cells. And it's where the paint breaks through uh, one color to the other. It, the weight of one paint drops through the paint of another. And so if you think about it flat, it's what creates all of these little circles that you see. And so you've got everything to get that kind of look. Okay, so how do you do it? I'm gonna start with the turtle and then I'm gonna do the flower. So you can see there's gonna be some techniques to both. I'm gonna do this without gloves so that you can see you can do it without gloves. Uh, if you don't want the kids to get super sloppy, glove them up. <laughs> uh, I do have on an apron, I do suggest uh, some sort of apron with this method. Um, throw a trash bag over their head. I think it'll be fine. So you've got three cups of paint and I want you to start there. You're gonna pop them open and you don't need to keep the lids. You're gonna use most of all of this. And when you do that, I just want you to give them a gentle stir. Don't go crazy. If you've got really, really little ones, I would suggest that you or an older sibling do this part. Um, you can see that I've given you a full uh, two ounces of paint. Uh, the paint is mixed with a pouring medium, so you're gonna see that it's runnier than average paint, and that's what you want. You don't have to worry about the consistency when you get home. Shouldn't take too long to do this. I wish this could be, whoop, well, there it starts. Um, I wish this could be a longer activity, but it's super fun. Just a quick stir. Make sure that there wasn't any settling uh, between the paint and the pouring medium. It shouldn't be too bad. And then we'll stir this one. And what you're gonna do when you're ready, when we get started, we're actually gonna put everything into this uh, um, cup. And this is gonna be your mechanism for getting the paint onto your turtle. So the, the action that we're gonna do is a flip cup uh, paint pour. You're gonna put paint in here. You're gonna actually put it like this with your cup up. And then you're gonna flip it. It sounds simple, it is simple, uh, and it's amazing to watch. So that what's, is what you're gonna do. But before that, we're going to uh, use some of our little magical oil. This is silicone oil. If you do any searching on pouring, they use this a lot. 
Um, there is plenty in here. There's actually way more than you need for this. I tested a couple ways to do this. I wanted to make sure you had enough. Um, so here's how I suggest you're doing it for this kit. Um, I would put it in one or two paints. Don't put it in all three. It defeats the purpose. What the silicone does is it really helps with the weight of your paint. It's going to help change the weight so that they can flow between each other better. And it's a little oily, so be careful. What I want you to do is I want you to scrape off a little bit of your paint so that you don't make too much of a mess. And I want you to use the end of your popsicle stick. And I just want you to dip it in there and bring in whatever sticks, okay? Should be about maybe two or three drops. Do not do more than that. Um, you're not gonna hurt anything. It just really isn't necessary. You wanna have a nice, uh, a nice even consistent cell structure. Okay, so I've done that one. And I'm just gonna do one on this one. I'll do two on the flower so that you can see that. Uh, I have paper towels for sure. Okay, so now what I've done, just a reminder, we've got our uh, three colors of paint that already have your pouring medium in there, so they're super uh, loose. And I've got white, green, and orange. And in the orange, I have taken this little container that is in your box and it's got silicone in it. And you're gonna take that silicone and you're just gonna dip the back end of your popsicle stick just a little bit into this and then stir it really thoroughly into your paint, okay? That silicone is gonna be what makes the magic on the turtle. So then you're gonna put your paint into this cup that you've got. It's got a green line on it. It's just a normal size cup. It's a super soft cup. Um, again, if you've got littles, they might grab it a little bit too hard. It's um, one of those combust compostable, compostable. Um, trying to save the earth. So it's, it's not the best cup, but I think it's good for this. And you're just gonna start to pour. It really doesn't matter which way you pour it in. Uh, I will tell you that how you pour it in affects how it looks. I can also tell you that it's impossible to predict. So to work too hard at that is, I don't know that that's worth it for the fun. Uh, but I do like to try to rotate back and forth at least once back into the same color. So you can see I'm literally, let me turn that around, just pouring the paint. And I'm pouring it down the side so I can kind of control what's happening to it. I don't want it to bloop everywhere. Now, you have more paint than you need for this turtle, but I want you to go ahead and put all of it in. I think it's gonna be easier that way. And you've been given some little turtles. One of the things I want you to do when you do this with your kids is I want you to take your time with putting your paint in and see if you can, I don't know, talk about, um, if you're gonna talk about like an art thing, if you've got a paint that you put in and it starts to sink down to the bottom of the, of the cup, you can imagine that's a heavier paint than some of the other colors. And what might happen with the paint as you put it on your turtle. Okay, so now you've got your cup full. It's gonna be about up to this line. That, that's plenty for what we're getting ready to do. And you're gonna take your turtle. You're gonna take one of these color cups that's empty and you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna set the turtle. That's where you're gonna place oh, your turtle. Let me get that in the camera for you. There we go. Sorry about the light. I'm gonna, hang on. I'm gonna change the camera just a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, Ooh, better for everybody. So I've turned over one of my cups. It's gonna be a little messy. If you've got paper on your table, uh, great. You might wanna grab a plate. Um, you could use like parchment paper. Uh, I wouldn't use saran wrap, that might get sloppy. It might work. Uh, foil would work, it would sound horrible, but you could do it. Just something to keep the mess down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our flip. All right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cup straight up. Put your turtle on the top 
and you're going to turn this over and set it down. Don't do anything yet, okay? I want you to let this sit. What's happening now is in this cup, this paint is dropping to the turtle. So if some of this paint has different weights than other paint, and I can tell you that I know the white is heavier, it's gonna push through all the other colors, all right? And that's what creates these holes. Um, so I'm letting it happen. You're gonna just kind of let it sit for a minute. This is gonna be hard for the kids. If they pull it right off, no big deal, okay? It's not gonna be a problem, but if you can get them to hold off, that would be good. Uh, what I am gonna do is this. So you guys know that their turtle uh, has these little jetty out sections on him. And what I wanna do, just in case, it's gonna be, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a little hard sometimes to get these points covered. I'm just gonna get this wet with any color. I'm going right on the edges, just putting my finger in it. If, I, if all goes well with the pour, this'll just dump right off. So it's, it's no big deal. But sometimes these little tips of these arms are a little bit hard to get a good color on. So I think it's easier if you do this first. So all I've done, gone around, nothing fancy. Got a little white in there. I might just, I'm just dumping it on. Don't really care what happens. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see what I did. So see, I've just got little white stuff. And you can already start to see some magic happening between the orange and the white. I'm going to put it a little bit closer to the camera. So it's starting to do some stuff. I think I'm going to turn this sideways for you so that you can see uh, the ends. It's a little harder to do these ends. Now, what's going to happen? I'm going to lift the cup off. When I lift the cup off, it's going to go bloop. Everything's going to fall everywhere, and that's okay. That's that's what's gonna happen. Make sure you've got some space here. Uh, don't do this on a rug. Uh, definitely cover the floor if you're doing this with kids because it could fall out. All right, so we're gonna pop it up. All right. Now, if I was doing a video for you to see the cells and everything, I'd be doing it closer, but I'm doing this for you to see the um, Technique. So what I want to do now, this really pushed out pretty far. You can see that I've got the pour is going to here. I've got a lot of runoff. That's okay. I want to make sure that I get a little bit this way, a little bit this way, and a little bit on those ends. Okay? So I'm going to go, and it doesn't matter where you go. You just choose what you want to do. I'm going to pour paint that way. That's why it's called a pour. I'm going to pour paint this way. Going around in a little bit of a circle with this little baby turtle. Okay. And I'm just watching where everything is. And then I can even come back with it if you watch it come back. Right. And that's it. And you can already see I have good what they call cells, it is that silicone. Um, when you're done with this, if you, when it's dry, so this is going to sit just like this for, uh, I would say 24 hours. You can check it. You can watch it dry. You'll see the edges of the wood will start to um, dry up. Don't, you don't want to leave the big pile of paint on the top either. Let me talk about that a little bit. So see how mine is not rushing off? That's a good amount of paint off. I want to leave enough on so I have a nice thick coat. I've got a bubble right there. Um, but if it's too thick, then it's going to take forever to dry. So you just want a nice even coat. What you saw me doing was dipping my finger into the edge. And let's see if I can do it this way. If there's anything down here that's just not covered, I'm going to tap it lightly. Uh, the other thing that you can do for the next little bit 
is carefully manage the drips. Again, this is something not for the little ones because you don't want to flip this turtle up and over and onto its pretty back. Okay. But it'll drip for a little bit. Okay. You're going to let it drip. You're going to leave this for 24 hours, right? Now's the time that it is super fun to sit and watch this right now. It's going to change over the next, I don't know, it's going to change for a while. Um, at least 10 minutes. And it'd be fun to maybe take a picture. What's happening is there are bubbles popping that is bringing one color up through another. Um, I will put this a little closer so you can see it. See all those holes? Okay. So you're going to just sit and let this do its thing. Every now and then, the adults in the family, I want you to come around. Just gently scrape. You can even use one of the popsicle sticks if you want. Uh, just be careful because you can't put too much up pressure on the turtle. He is super light, okay? But if you're just careful enough, you can make sure that it doesn't get too gooey. Okay. All right. And then what I would do is I would sit and watch him. I might come back and check on him in about 10, 15 minutes but he's probably good to go, and um, he's, he's really set. The good thing about this kind of turtle is he's pretty easy to move. I'm actually gonna pick him up and move him, and I'm just grabbing him under the bottom. He's so light, and moving him. I'll put him where you guys can see him a little bit. Maybe, Ooh. okay, there we go. Now, I also gave you a little baby turtle. Or a little baby flower, depending on your kit. And so this is what we call a dipper. He's just a baby. And I want you to have something to set him on. Whether doesn't matter what it is. And you're just gonna dip him. Find so down here after I've moved this turtle, all of this stuff is amazing looking. So I'm just gonna find a spot that I like and I'm literally just gonna dip him. Put him in. It's messy. It's okay. Get him good and covered, and then you're gonna flip him. All right, he's super gooey and thick. I'm gonna kind of hold him a little bit. He's got, I'm gonna tap him off a little too. I kind of got him way deep down in there. See how he's got um, stucky little arms there? I don't want a ton of paint to get caught up in there because I want to see the turtle. There we go. Just set him back down on the table. And that got him cleaned out a little bit. Let me put him down there. So, oh, there you go. And then I'm going to leave him up on the cup. And he gets to dry. And he's your little baby. Little magnet piece on the back would be cute. Okay. So now I'm going to jump in, I'm going to do the flower. So two things get to happen. You get to see the flower, but you also get to see me do the technique again, just in case I messed up. So I'm going in and I'm going to get my popsicle sticks and my cup, my baby flower. Okay. And this time I didn't use white. I got three really cute flower colors. I'm going to let this be. I think it's okay. Um, if at home you do more than one, you might choose to move that. That's fine. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is just a gentle stir. Make sure everything is okay. Now we're doing the kits for $10. Uh, you get three pots of paint your pieces, the silicone, everything you need to do it. Uh, but we're also gonna do family kits. So family kits are gonna be uh, enough for four <clears throat> and it's gonna be, uh, it's almost like you're gonna get a free one. So we're gonna do $30 for the family kit. You're gonna get four big things. So you can choose turtles or flowers, you can combine them. Uh, and then whatever your large one is, you're gonna also get the same small one, just for ease. And then you get to choose, instead of three paints, you get to choose um, eleven paints. Sorry. Man, I got focused on that yellow. 
11 paints. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna build my cut. Again, oh, see? Look, y'all, I know everybody's saying, this silicone. Okay, I'm not even gonna use the one that came in this box. I'm gonna use the one that came in my other box. I'm gonna put the silicone, I promise to put it in two colors. So I'm gonna put it in my two pinks. I got a pink and like a orange. So see me, just get a little drop. Mix that in. And I use the clean end of the popsicle stick because I don't want to mix my colors. Not purposely, anyway. Okay, it's good and stirred in. And again, there's still plenty for this. I'm going to show you. Let me see the. There you go. So just see the drips. I'm just going to scoop and go in. Probably getting two drops. That's all you need. Don't even need that much. One drop's fine. Okay. All right. So I've got that. Now I can build my cup. So I've already got my yellow. I'm going to pour in some of my coral. Pink. I'm going to even go back and put a little yellow in between each color. You really can do anything that you want. But I was thinking as I was pouring this that my coral and my pink had a very similar tone. Okay, so I'm just going to put it all in. I'm going to use my same cup that I've got there. Flower. We're going to do the flower. And my hands are really just a hot mess, but that's okay. All right. So flower goes on the cup and you flip together. Okay. And again, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my color on my finger. I have not done a flower yet, so I'm doing this on video. I'm hoping this all works out just fine. And I'm just going in, whatever kind of stuck in the cup. It's getting all messy. Just a little bit of yellow. And again, this will probably push off. I'm just trying to use every bit of it. Okay, I'm not even gonna wash my hands because when I do the twist, it's gonna get messy. Okay, so I've got it all set up. I got my cup flipped over. It's been sitting and kind of dripping in between each color. And I'm gonna do the lift. It's got some suction, so be careful. Woo! I don't know if you guys can see that, but that looks very cool. Now look, so this one is awesome on the shape. I picked this shape flower on purpose when I did it with the hopes that it would naturally push itself to the edges without um, having to really manhandle it like we do on the turtle, okay? It went fully to the edge. But what I do know is I have way too much paint on this. So I need to do the tip off action, okay? I'm gonna do kind of a swirl because I want it to go all the way around the flower and I might even, I'm gonna try this live, or not live, but Memorex. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip off each flower and see if that kind of impacts the shape that we see. So I'm gonna go off that way. I'm gonna go off that way. I'm coming back this way. Ooh, this way. This way. I've got a section. I'm really liking the yellowy part. And so that bottom there, I want a little more yellow. So I'm just gonna let it slide. 
And I'm gonna push it back just a little bit. You guys, that's so cool. Okay, I'm digging this. And it's hard for you to see, so again, I apologize because I'm doing this for the technique, not the final look. Um, but what's happening is um, the yellow is really creating some amazing cells. I'm just kind of going around. I have to be careful because I've got green down here too. I don't really want green on my flower. Okay. I'm going to set that over there. Still really wet. Ooh, I almost dipped coral right smack in the middle of my turtle. All right, so then I'm gonna set my flower again, 24 hours. You're gonna let that sit. Um, it should be fine after 24 hours. If you see anything that looks shiny, obviously it's still a little bit wet. Test it for your kiddos before they get their fingers all in it. Um, and then I've got my little flower dipper. And I'm gonna do something crazy because I have green here and I'm gonna I'm gonna head across the green as well, just because I didn't really plan that too well. Okay. I'm gonna kinda, it's a little bit like a hibiscus, so I think I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Remember, these things are going to change a little bit. I'm going to, let me wipe my hands really quick. i got a bunch of coral in. Let's see if I can grab the turtle without messing him up a little bit and just show you. He's really changed a lot just since I showed him. He's awesome. Okay, and the baby turtle, what you're going to notice on your dippers is they're color tones are going to be much there we go softer cuz they've mixed they've come through the cup dumped on the table and they're creating a bit of a mix not a separation so that's okay still beautiful um, and that's it so you've got uh, in your kit just a quick reminder uh, watch i'm going to tell you to watch this video first uh, so this is maybe just a quick brief reminder have a place to dump everything you can kind of see i've got about a i don't know 15 inch mess so that's kind of relative to what you need. You're gonna to need to have gloves if you care. Uh, it's all washable, so that's fine. You're gonna not wanna to forget to put in your silicone. So step one, carefully mix your paints just to make sure they're fine. Step two, add a little bit of silicone to one or two of the colors. And then step three is to build your pour cup. You're gonna pour it in in any method that you so choose. And then four is you're going to flip it, let it sit on top of one of your paint cups um, as long as you want. And then when you're ready, you're going to put a little bit of excess paint around the edges of a turtle, even your flower, just as a backup. And then you're going to pop the cup. And then you want to tip to the edges to make sure the paint runs off. You don't want to leave it all bubbling up on the top. You want to let it run off. Uh, now, some people would tell you to worry about the level that you're sitting it on. Um, you definitely don't want to sit it on a table like this because the paint will actually run off. So, but I don't think you need to go out and get a level. I just think you need to make sure it's pretty straight and I think you're going to be okay if not have any problems not having the level. But that's it. If you are using a family pack, uh, I'm hoping that you picked out a ton of colors. You should have enough that you can share amongst yourselves. Um, I happen to use all of my paint, but if you used a little bit of more colors of paint, you'd have plenty to share around so everybody could do different patterns and different colors. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, we're gonna do the kits for $10 for individuals, 30 for a four pack, so it's kinda like a freebie. And I hope you send me videos, send me, do your own pour videos, send them to me. I'll post them out there. Send me pictures of your dry uh, turtles and your flowers because I want to share those too. 
and I think that we spend the next little bit of our quarantine dumping some paint. Um, so if you have any questions when you get these, you guys know you can just message me on Facebook or Instagram, either one is fine. Um, my emails are getting really full with a lot of businesses telling me about their business plans. And so I think the best bet would be social media to get a hold of me faster. My email is getting a little bit long and I'm a little behind. Uh, but other than that, I look forward to seeing what you come up with and I hope the video helped. If you need anything, uh, always give me a call. I'm looking for great ideas in this crazy time. Take care. See you soon at Costia Weibar. Bye.